Oh, excuse me, sir. No, it's okay. Oh, it's a, it's a bee's nest. <laughs> I do not want to be near that. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. So, it turns out that I've got something for you guys to see today. Now, I've been doing a little live streaming, so some of you out there who were joining me got the chance to see some of the locations that I went into. Um, I took a little walk around, but then I came back to this other side of the, the Hippodrome, and I found a bit of a gold mine here. So today was an, an epic fail after all. Um, it looks like it's gonna rain, so as luckily I'm gonna get a little bit of shelter, but what we got what I have access to is the stables that were used for the horses and there seem to be two stables and another building on the other side I'm gonna save the other building on the other side for last because uh, I don't know if that one's uh, got security but they really didn't use any security on this place I guess they don't really care about the crap and stuff so let's take a little look here now I was going to crawl through the window but normally I like to look for easier access. So as you can see here, we got a building here and we got another building over there. And on the other side, there's another building. Looks a little bit more upkept. So let's go inside here. So I'm actually very excited, guys, that I'm here um, at the stables because there's a lot of graffiti artwork here as well. And there's like, this place is kind of littered with cans. So it's kind of in a way, a place where graffiti artists come and do their thing. I was more concerned about people, uh, God, man, the, the flies are really bad. I was more concerned about squatters and animals but I don't think squatters, well, actually it's not that bad you if you were really, really hard up for a place to stay. But uh, let's do a little exploration. All right, I gotta break up my big flashlight here and also uh, set up my camera so that the lighting is a little bit better for you guys, okay? Oops. Try not to make any noise. Oh, excuse me, sir. No, it's okay. I, I hope I wasn't disturbing no, you. No, no, no. Okay. Enjoy, uh, this place is getting so much attention. Really? I, I'm, I'm not feeling... This was the uh, clubhouse, the testing uh, barn. Okay. And the restaurant used to be in the back. Oh, the restaurant used to be over here? Yeah. So in the end, there seemed to be that there was actually somebody staying here. Very nice gentleman, by the way, gave me some information. So uh, apparently there are 15 or more places available over there to go take a look. They're all um, places that were kept for the horses. Now he said over here was kind of like, this side was like the testing area where they, you know, I guess that's why there was like vials and stuff on the ground. And over here was a restaurant area. I'm gonna take a look at some of the graffiti artwork here. Very nice stuff. So over there is the Hippodrome. I don't think they can see me from here. 
but we're gonna go over and check out these places. So apparently, there's a crap load of places. And from what the guy just mentioned, I'm gonna add that into the video for you guys. Um, he says that all this is gonna be demolished. It was supposed to be demolished like uh, five years ago, but apparently they're gonna be doing it very soon. And they're gonna turn it all into low-income housing, probably condos and stuff. And uh, which is kind of cool for me because I get to come here, probably be one of the last few people that are gonna get to check out this location. Um, but the sad part is, is that, you know, this gentleman is gonna be out of home or a place to stay. But like, but like you, like you said, you know, it's not like in the United States. People are very friendly here, and uh, we're we're kind of compassionate about, you know, the, our people here in our our own country. So guys, I haven't said it in my video yet, but hit that like button, guys. Hit that like button, and if you haven't subscribed, you gotta subscribe to my channel so you can get the chance to see more of this stuff. Now there's always gonna be chances where there's gonna be epic fails, which happens, but I was very lucky today to find this place and have it very, have it totally accessible. Now for those of you who want a chance to come down and check out this place, you can contact me if you're in the local area. I'd be glad to come here with you and we can do a little collaboration with our videos. Um, but you're going to have to hurry because, like I said, this place is going down soon and uh, it doesn't take them long. I kind of have to be careful when you come into this place because like I really didn't know that guy was there until I, I came across him. He was so quiet. Holy shit. Is that what I think it is? Oh, it's a, it's a bee's nest. <laughs> I do not want to be near that. It's a huge bee's nest. All right, so this actually seems to be the the stables themselves. I think the place that I was originally were where they did the tests on the horses and stuff, um, like the guy said before, but these are the original stables where they actually kept the horses at all times. And as you can see here, they had their own little rooms, the grass and everything in the dirt. I'm just more concerned about any, any squatters in here or animals. We got uh, some other rooms in here. Looks like some animals might have been tearing up their bed. Whoa. 
this is a little dangerous. Let's not have something that people can stand or stab their feet into. Well, it looks like somebody was using this place to squat. Have candles, use the couch. Definitely some people have been using this for squatting. We got a sleeping bag there. But you can see that somebody's been taking care of flowers and plants in here. Which is kind of cool. I like flowers and plants. see some fur maybe it's like some dead animal uh, definitely some sort of animal could be a rabbit and it looks I see a, a foot there or maybe the the rats overtaken the cats they revolted and decided to eat them all whoa I found a snake there's a snake right here check that out Luckily, I don't think he's poisonous. We don't have rattlers. But he's just chilling out in the sun. See, I didn't realize that there were probably snakes around here. I just hope I don't run into like a huge snake nest. Oh man, the mosquitoes are eating me up. Okay guys, this is it. This is where I'm gonna end it off. There's nothing left to see. I looked over there and uh, there's really nothing. And the flies, the mosquitoes are eating alive. Like I don't usually mind mosquitoes that much, but this time it's becoming very painful and unbearable. They're eating me that much. And it seems that the temperature is starting to increase. The humidity is coming out. And uh, I think it's, the mosquitoes just love it. And they see me as a piece of fresh meat. So if you guys haven't followed me on my other social media pages, my other social media sites, don't forget to check out my Twitter where I'm constantly updating all the time. And uh, uh, you can get all my links on my YouTube page, but you can check out my Twitter, my Facebook fan page, the Urbex fan page. I just got my Flickr page set up to show all the photographs that I take. And uh, as also, well, don't forget to check out my Instagram page. Follow me on there as well. Uh, I just want to get back to the car now, get some air conditioning, drink a little bit of this Gatorade to get some, uh, get, get re rehydrated. And uh, that's it. So thanks very much guys for coming and check out my channel. I hoped this video wasn't too disappointing for ya. Uh, I was, uh, I'm a little excited. I was actually kind of worried that I wasn't able to get uh, anything at all because of the other two locations that were, uh, well, the, the first location that I showed you and of course the, the Hippodrome itself. I'm just gonna walk this way behind so that nobody sees me. And uh, that's it. So I love you guys. Thanks for checking out Urbex TV. There's plenty more stuff coming on your way. I'm just checking to see if I got any more mosquitoes biting me. And uh, show your love. And don't forget to check out my Patreon page. If you want to become a patron uh, and follow me there and help support my channel. And uh, 
support the content that I create and, and help me create more better content uh, and become one of my one of my team members you won't be disappointed guys okay so uh, again I love you all thank you for checking out my, ch my channel and my video and uh, until the next one all right ciao bell <laughs>